Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use all logical operator in SQL Server. Let's go ahead and take a look on definition and then perform a demo. All logical operator returns are true if all of a set of comparisons are true. All compares a scalar value with single column set of values. Now, let me put that in a written form so you can take a look. Here, think about that. I have my name Amir and then I have set of values. So I have Amir, then I have Raza and then I have name ABC there. So now with all, if you would like to compare them, how you are going to do that? So first of all, you are taking a look on this uh, scalar value against uh, every value in this set. Uh, now we will say, okay, so what is your comparison? Maybe I will say, oh, okay, if uh, Amir is equal to all, uh, so that's one of the things. Uh, so in this case, uh, we will write uh, something equal to, now let's say you have another set uh, where your values are different. Uh, so maybe you have five value, that's a scalar value. Then you would like to compare against a set uh, that has four, five, six, and seven. Uh, now you can write different operators. Uh, you would say, oh, okay, I would like to check uh, if five is uh, greater than all from this set. Uh, so in this case, uh, five will be compared against four, against five, against six and seven. And uh, if uh, that is true, then uh, you are gonna get uh, result uh, true and uh, the row will be returned. But in this case, uh, let's say here, if you see Amir, Amir is equal to Amir, yes, this value, but Amir is not equal to Raza and Amir is not equal to ABC. So in this case, uh, this will be false when you run this query. So this will return false and this row will not be returned. But if our inner query are set uh, values returned or all are returning Amir, then uh, see this is scalar value if I compare. So this is equal to Amir, then again equal to Amir and then again equal to Amir. Then we will have true. So you will be using uh, with the you will be using different operators with all so you will be using equal to all you will be using greater than all maybe you will be greater than not equal to all and greater than equal to all so different operators operators you will use with all to make a comparison and depending on your comparison you will get true or false let's jump into the scenario that will make more sense Think about a scenario where we have two tables, a DBO customer table and a DBO customer one table. Now both table has the column age. If you need to get all the records from DBO customer table where age is greater than every value of age column in DBO customer one table, how would you write your query? So let me uh, first create these two, two tables so you can see what we have here. Let me expand this one. So we have a customer table with ID, first name, last name, country short name, and age. In this scenario or uh, uh, this demo, I'm going to use two columns. So first we will perform a demo with age, then uh, one of the example we will do with the country short name. So here you see that we have age 20, 60, 54, and 84. I just want to go ahead and create this table. The table is created with four rows. Now let's go ahead and create a table, DBO customer one, same columns, and we have three records here. So create these two tables. Now, first of all, what we would like to do, as we would like to get all the records from DBO customer, where age is greater than every value in the DBO customer one table. So if you run this query here, there are multiple ways to think of the scenarios and write your queries. But in this scenario, we are using all operator. And here you see that in the customer one table, we have three values. I'm going to just type it here. It will make of make our comparison easy to take a look here. If I run DBO customer table select query, I can see that I have one row with age 20. So with all is and we would like to write if our age, let me write this query, where age from customer table is greater than all, and then we would like to compare against the age 
of DBO customer one table. Now, this is our query. So that's how you are going to write your query. You will write the column from your outer query. Then you say greater than, equal to whatever the way uh, operator you want to use. Then you write all and then you provide the sub query and you will return only one column. Okay. Now, here I'm saying, okay, this age, so 20 is greater than all. So here with this query, it is returning us uh, three values. 33, 15, and 29. So you see that uh, if I want to write in a set uh, kind of number thing, uh, so you can show you right here. So I'm saying if 20, that's my first record, uh, is greater than uh, all these values, 33, 15, and 29. And you can see clearly 20 is not greater than uh, 33. 20 is greater than 15, 20 is not greater than 29. So it is not greater than, 20 is not greater than each of these values from the set. So first record from DBO customer will not be displayed as it is returning as a false condition by using greater than all. Now let's compare about 60. So 60 is greater than 33. 60 is greater than 15, 60 is greater than 29. So this record will be returned. That's good. So the same goes for 54 and 87 as they are greater than each of the value of this set returned by the subquery. So we'll return only three results. That's great. So you can see that three rows are returned. Now, let me go to another scenario where I would like to say get all the records from DBO customer table where country short name is equal to the every value in the country short name returned from the DBO customer table, customer one table. Now, that's our query is going to be something like this. Select star from DBO customer where country short name equal to all select country short name from dbo customer one now what we have here so we have if i run this query i can see i have pk i have ca and i have us and if i run my inner query what we have here so we have a us so there are three values returned by the inner query all of them are usa and from outer query we can see that there are some records so we have a pk that's not equal to all of the values returned by our subquery so pk is not equal to us at all and the c is also not equal to us so the only value we see here is a us and it does uh, match with every value returned by this uh, subquery so that's why only these uh, two values or rows will be returned so now let's go ahead and execute and you see that uh, we have uh, two records uh, returned now the same way i can go and say not equal to all so you see that uh, here our inner query has only us so this is only return us the us and us again so there are three us values returned by the subquery now what we are saying here let's say if a customer table is returning me pk so if you want to put in a set based thing so you're saying pk is not equal to us so this is our set here so you will put a set here well, let me comma here put a set here just yes, you know don't worry about the comments part here so so you are saying is you pk is not equal to this us yes that's right okay and then uh, you have another uh, comparison right there so pk is not equal to us and pk is not equal to us uh, so you see that uh, this row will be returned uh, same way ca will be returned because it is not equal to all so it is not equal to the us it is not equal to us and not equal to us but the uh, us is uh, equal to every value in the set uh, so if i run this one i should uh, get uh, pk and ca execute this and you see that we have returned two rows so this is how you are going to use your all uh, 
logical operator with different uh, comparison operators such as equal to not equal to greater than greater than equal to not uh, uh, greater than so whatever situations fits uh, for your scenario i will suggest uh, start using it share your examples uh, if you stuck with some example i would like to go over with uh, a different example and see if i can be helpful thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this will video will help uh, see you guys in the next video